Alice and today I am doing a very very highly requested video which is going to be my makeup collection so without further ado let's get on the video so I store all my makeup in my Alex 5 drawers and the sideways because it fits in more of my room and on here I have makeup brushes so I've got lots of like my brushes from Real Techniques I've got some random random branded ones I've got my Urban Decay brushes and like my beauty blenders it's stored in this Zoella pot and then behind that I just have like all my face ones from Real Techniques from Ted Baker and this pot is from Ikea and behind the pot is my Zoella the double cream because this is so nice and smells of macarons like need to get it and over here I just have my acrylic lipstick holder from eBay I think it was like five pounds which is a bargain so I have all of my Revlon lipsticks I've got pinks and nudes purples and a red and then here I've got three from my lipsticks um in angel a velvet shade and men love mystery and then here I have my pocket back in pretty is a peach and I have my L'Oreal the JLo's new purple shade and then if we go into this drawer here I just have three of my next lingeries so I've got one in the shade 03 08 which is my favourite out of the next lingerie collection and then I've got C and I've got 12 which is lovely and then here I have my Super Glory Sexy Mother Puck lipstick in Rise and Shine and that is so pretty and then in here I have three of my Revolution lipsticks so it's, it's kind of like the tubes for the lingerie ones so it's called the Shame Shades and I've got some of, of the Wet n Wild lipsticks one in like a ready shade and then I've got a nudie shade and then here I've just got my Calvin Klein lipstick that my sister gave me and it's just in a lovely pink shade and then moving on to my sprays I've just got my mini lipsy perfume which is so nice and it was only £10 from TK Maxx so I love this a lot and it's so cute I then have my Tommy Hilfiger perfume which as you can tell I hardly have any any of it left but it smells so strong but I do love it because I don't know it just lasts a long time and I've had this like two years now and then here I have two of my Ted Baker sprays I also have a pink one as well but that's in my school bag so I've just got a green one, a white one, and I've got a pink one. And then here I've got my, my Hollister spray. It says Shea and Boho scented. The packaging is so nice. I'm going to take this one photo of this ASAP because it's so nice. And then here I've got three of my VS sprays. I've got Shea Love, Love Spell, and Strawberry Champagne. And these smell incredible. This is it for the top of my Alex 5 drawers. So in the first drawer, I just have like all my face products. So, so starting off with foundation to have the Rimmel, the Match Perfection in porcelain. And then I've got this one in ivory, which is my shade. And then here I just have a collection primer, which is the Cool Rose one. And this reduces the redness off your face. And then just here, I've just got the Mini of the Professional because this is the best primer ever and I need to get the full sized. And then here I just have the Matte Rescue Professional and this is incredible and it's lasted me a long time and I need to get another one of these as well. Then here I just have a straw cream because I do use this as a primer because it is a really good primer and it's just incredible. And then here I just have my Revolution Ultra Face Base Primer and I love this primer a lot. Moving over here I have two of the Nivea Men Post Shave Balms because these are excellent primers. And then, moving over here, I've just got my Revolution Highlighter, my MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter in gold. And I've got two of the collection powders, which are my fave. And then here, I just have two of my Ted Baker blush sticks and a highlight from Technic. And, and, and then here, I'd have my MUA Loose Powder. This is incredible, and it's white, so it doesn't make you look orange so i recommend this for people who've got pale skin even over here i just have some concealers so i've got my collection concealer in ivory um in fair and then i've got my nyx concealer in one and just have my Rimmel concealer in ivory and i'm really sorry I'm, I'm really sorry if my voice is going i'm losing it so i'll try my best and then just on the side here i have my two faced no filter powders these are incredible, like, look at these, like, they're so pretty. And then, over here I just have the Dandelion blush. Like, this smells incredible and it's so pretty. 
like look at that and here i've just got my honeycomb blusher from w7 my honolulu bronzer from w7 and i've got the maybelline the master sculpt in light and then then moving over here and moving over here, I just got the Barsha the chocolate bronzer. This smells of chocolate, but it, um, the shade doesn't really come up on my face that well, but it's still really good. And then I've got my Revolution Trio, so it's got a bronzer, a highlight, and a blusher. And as you can tell, I've used the highlight a lot on the blush, I mean, the bronzer and the blush. And these, it was only 350 And then here I have my Ted Baker blusher and my blusher and bronze, my blusher and bronzer set. Thing, which is really good and then I've just got my I heart makeup blushing hearts this is a very good dupe for the Too Faced one as you can tell it's very nice yeah I've just got my posy tin and my Benny tin these are just some minis but are incredible and I love them and then here I have my revolution the contour stick and I also have the strobing stick of this as well and then here i just have my collection contour stick this is in light and it's the best contour stick you'll ever use and it's only four pounds and then at the back here i have my revolution setting spray and i also have the priming spray for it as well and then i also have here my urban decay all nighter mini this is really good and i love it even over here i have my revolution golden sugar palette 2 i think and look at these shades oh you can see me hello but look how incredible these are so it's got a highlighter a highlighter a highlighter a blush a highlight a highlight a highlight and a blush so most of them are highlighters because the two the two shiny to use as blushes but they're incredible and here i have another blush palette from makeup revolution after these are just extreme colors which i do use for eyeshadows because they're really good and as you can tell i wouldn't want to use these as blushes because i am very pale and if i put these on my face they just look a bit too like a clown and then over here i have um this from w7 the cheeky trio it's just got um i'll try and open it i've got a a bronzer a blush and a highlight but they're not really pigmented at all but it's still really good and yeah so this is everything in my first drawer so in my second drawer i've just got like all my eyeshadow palettes and mascaras and everything like that so with mascaras i've got my bourgeois mascara the dark call i've got the l'oreal the miss manga which is my fave i've got my maybelline the mega plush the soap and glory mascara which actually irritates my eyes but i still use it because i'm crazy and then I have the Great Lash, which I think is so cute. And I've got the mini of the Roller Lash. And I've got the mini of the They're Real. And then here I've just got a Max Factor Mascara, which I love and I recommend to everybody. And then just here I just have my next eyebrow pomade in the shade Blonde. And this is so Even good. Here I've just got all my eyeshadow palettes. So I've got three of the Benefit um, Cream eyeshadows. These are really good. And then have my new, the Balm, my new Chewed eyeshadow palette. And then have my Naked Smokey and the W7 in the buff and, li and lightly toasted. And then moving over here, I've just got three of the Maybelline the Colour Tattoos in Eternal Gold, Wild Plum and Immortal Charcoal. And I've got two of my Makeup Opposition eyeshadows in Burnt and Rare. And then I've got two of my L'Oreal eyeshadows behind there. And then I've got an eyebrow kit from Makeup Revolution. I've got... Um, I've got three eyeshadow palettes from Makeup Revolution. I've got the classics, the iconic three, and I've got two of like the 2017 ones, and these are really good. And then here I've got my W7, and um, the Midnight palette, which is very extreme, as I can show you. It's very extreme, as you can and tell. Moving over here, I've just got a pot of the Maybelline um, eye, what's it called, eyeliner. I've got the mini of the the pot lids in it by the Balm. I've got a Revolution Focus and Fix Eyelid Primer. I've got I've got a Wet and Wild um, eyeliner. I've then got um, Soap and Glory Super Cat eyeliner. It's really good. And I've got my collection um, the Fast Draw because it's really good. And then moving over here, I've just got a Technic Sultry Eyeshadow Palette which I do really like. I've just got an Avon White Eyeshadow. I've got another of the well, I've got a whole one world eyeshadow palette and I've got a random eye glitter and yeah this is everything in my second drawer so in my third drawer I've just got lots of like lip, lip balms and NYX products and collections so I'll start off with my baby lips I'll go through the names because there's too many to say and plus I'm losing my voice so I've just got um, a melon one the pink one this peachy one 
the clear one, this, this Christmas one, a pina colada one. I've got um, this one, I think it's grapefruit. I have got three of the crystals. So I've got the orange one, the pinky one, and then I've got like the ready one. And then here I've just got a, I've got three of these NYX the butter glosses. I've got a pink, a purple, and a red. And these are very pretty matte lip creams in 11 and 6. And then here I have two of the dupes for them, which are from collection. These are the creamy puffs, but I believe that they're called, they've changed their name now to these, but these are lovely. And then I've just got like some random stuff like fake tan and these pads, so yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I know I can see.